I wouldn't say that it's tough but definitely challenging. Uh, the reason being, uh, you are on a treadmill 24 hour 7 in terms of network and how you sort of balance it out and you deal with the challenges that come across to you. you know, I joined the telecom sector with just about five sites that we were radiating way back, uh, you know, 15 odd years ago. Uh, but then uh, in terms of, uh, you know, after a period of time you begin to figure it out and you, you know, you sort of... Uh, learn to sort of get into it and I always believe that you know there are only two ways of surviving in a situation which might be a little adverse to you initially is to jump in and get your hands dirty. For me it would be more in terms of shifting gears of uh, sort of uh, getting uh, the business priorities and the network uh, priorities aligned together and uh, be more uh, centric towards requirements of business in terms of uh, you know quality requirements. When again we did a transition to Indus uh, a little couple of years later, and uh, at that point of time, you just your business team, your sales team, you just couldn't understand that you know the network was not available for half the time. And they said, you know, what are we going to do? and talk to our customers and we have to deal with it and I I must say like you know uh, uh, that's one of been um, I think if I go back and look at it that's been my toughest year or my toughest assignment because I had to stra stand really really strong and you know like a fort against my entire team because the minute you sort everybody gets the pressure then you sort of buckle down and that's something that you know as a learning that you know, I have for the lot of younger people who come on board, be it girls or guys. Give it anything, your passion, your effort, your hard work, and it will come back to you. And the best will come back to you. Every day is something new is happening and you know, you have to keep abreast of technology. It's literally, you know, 40% of my life has been spent in Airtel and uh, a larger part of my career has been spent on Ayrton and I must say that um, I owe a lot of who I am as a, as a person, as an individual, uh, for the organization, for the people who believed in me.